let us pray. My Father and my God, I worship you and I glorify your name this morning. Thank you, King of Glory, for you have kept us alive that we may praise and worship the name you are King of Glory. Now I pray, my Father, that the meditations of my heart and the words of my mouth may be pleasing unto thee, O King of Kings. Father, I have words of my no, I don't have words of my own King of Glory. But I pray, King of glory, that you may back my words with the power from heaven. In the mighty and the precious blood of Jesus, I do pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Amen. We may have our seats. <coughs> Praise the name of the living God. Amen. You can see me. This morning I'm born again. I bless the Lord for this opportunity. I, I really feel humbled to be in your presence this morning. My name is John, John Mogo. Uh, I come from uh, PCA Kenyatta Road. For those of us whom we have not met, I am not new in this place, and that is why when the secretary said, Kwamba Wageni Wasimame, you didn't see me standing. Praise the name of the living God. Because uh, I, I, can, I can no longer consider myself a visitor here, but I am a visitor in the presence of the Lord. I bless the Lord. We have not met for quite a long time. I think this year we have not met. Pengine wengine tumepatana uko kwa streets. But uh, meeting here in church, we have not met. Two things I am glad to be here be back again to share the word of the Lord with you. And uh, the second thing, I am blessed to be leading the ma uh, in the presence of the youth. You know, I had today the youth are leading and uh, I am really, I am really excited. I feel uh, that I, I am where I belong. Praise the name of the living Father. Uh, by saying that, that means I'm still a youth. You know, wakati mingine tukianza kumea ndevu tukua wadogo. People think that we, 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 are, we are beyond our age. Praise the name of the living Father. But, um, but um, I am still a youth. Hello. Uh, as I have said, I am excited that the youth are leading. You know, there, there was a time, wakati nilikuwa, nilikuwa shuleni, and uh, nilikuwa nangoja gari pale, pale survey. And you know, as I was waiting for, 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 for a vehicle, there is this uh, matatu that came, na conductor katoka. I really don't know what he saw that I was waiting for. Lakini alikuja kaniambia, a brother, a baria mzuri. And you know, it's, it's unlike conductors to greet you. Lakini huyu alinisalimia. Na kaniambia, you know what? Nitakube, unaenda wapi nikambia naenda Kenyatta Road. Nitakubeba free as long as utapiga set kwa hii gari. Praise the name of the living God. Hello. You know, matatu haikuwa na mtu. And, and he, he saw me. And kaona uja maana ka aido. And uh, he, can, he can as well come and, and, and uh, kupiga set kwa gari. Praise the name of the living father. Why am I saying this? Because, you know, sometimes as the youth, as the youth, uh, there is this notion Na tunafanya mambo ikai ni kama sisi tumekuja kupiga set kwa kanisa. But uh, that is not the case because we are here and we are, our presence is being felt in the church. Praise the name of the living father. Can you appreciate the youths who are leading today? Yes. So fast forward to the word of the Lord uh, this morning. We are going to be asking ourselves... Or uh, the theme of the word today is, who sent you? Who? Who sent you? Now help me preach to your neighbor and ask him, who sent you? <coughs> who sent you? And uh, we, we are getting the, the background of the word this morning from the book of Exodus chapter 3. Uh, the whole of, of Exodus chapter 3. And here we see a conversation between God and Moses. And I really don't know whether prior to that God had spoken to Moses. 
But this is the first time that we are seeing God having a conversation with Moses. And what God is about to do is that he is about to send Moses to go and rescue the people or the children of Israel. And that is why God tries to draw the attention of Moses through a burning bush. And Moses sees a burning bush and he gets interested. Why? Because the, 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 the bush is burning, but it is not getting consumed. Praise the name of the living Father. And when the conversation starts, it starts by, Mos by God saying that, I have heard the cry of the, the children of Israel. I have seen the oppression that the, 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 their masters are, uh, are, are giving them. And I am concerned and I am coming to rescue them. Praise the name of the living Father. Nahapon dipo ambapo, God is telling Moses that I am about to send you to Egypt. And Moses didn't have a very good background or he didn't, he, he, the, 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 the Sifa ambazo alikuwa meacha Egypt they were not so good. And he was, he, he was getting scared. He was getting scared to go back to Egypt and rescue the children of Israel. But God, and he asked the Lord, when, when the people asked me, you know, one of the concerns was not even about who Pharaoh would say or would think he is. One of the major concerns that Moses had is who the children of Israel would think he is. Praise the name of the living Father. That is why he asked the Lord, when the people asked me, when the people asked me, who sent you? When the people asked me, who are you? Who are you representing? What will I say? Praise the name of the living Father. That is why, that is where we got our theme this morning, who sent you? And in verse 13 of that uh, chapter, Exodus chapter 3, Moses asked an introduction of God to the people. Who should, he, who should he say sent him? Praise the name of the living Father. He asked God, in case Pharaoh or the children of Israel ask who sent him, what should he say? And brothers and sisters, this morning, let me confirm to you that this question, question, who sent you, is asked each and every day in our walk with Christ. Praise the name of the living Father. In our walk with Christ. And, the, and in this context, Pharaoh representing the enemy of the people. Pharaoh representing the enemy of God's purposes in our lives. Pharaoh representing all what God represents in our lives. Brothers and sisters, this question will always be asked in our life. And let me tell you, you have no uh, otherwise. How no otherwise but to answer this question when the world asks it. Praise the name of the living Father. You know, in the life that we are living, and in our journey as Christian, just like Moses, who, who was asked who sent you by Pharaoh, just like Moses was getting concerned who the people would think he is, who the people would think that sent him, whether you like it or not, as I have said, you have to answer this question. Hello? Sometimes the life that we are living Sometimes the financial, the economic situation that we are living in our lives or in the nation, sometimes this situation will look at you and ask you, who sent you? Praise the name of the living Father. You know, the, the economic hardships, the lives that we are living, you know, we, 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 are, we are working very hard to find our money, and, 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 and uh, the, the things that we are doing, we cannot really account for. Why? Because the economic situations, the financial situation, the taxes and all that are too much. Praise the name of the living Father. 
That is why I'm saying these situations will look at you and ask you as a Christian. They will look at you and ask you as a believer who sent you. Praise the name of the living father. Sometimes the parenting situations when your children does not, do not seem to go as you have liked, they, 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 they seem to mock the situation of the word of the Lord in your life. Sometimes they look at you, the parenting, your children will look at you and ask you, who sent you? Praise the name of the living father. And I am not saying that what a simama apu akuliza mam. Who sent you? Hello? Apana. But the situation that you find in, the situation that you find in that seems to go against the word of the Lord in, the, in your life, that seems to go against the promises of the Lord in your life, praise the name of the living Father. They will look at you and ask you, who sent you? Praise the name of the living Father. Sometimes the challenges, you know, family challenges, family problems in our lives, the situations in our marriages, our spouses, sometimes things look thick. They will look at you and the situation will seem to be asking you, who sent you? Praise the name of the living Father. Sometimes your health, your health. You know, we, we have been told, and the Bible says that, that, that divine health is our portion. Sometimes even when we are praying, we, we, we quote words left, right, and center, and it is good. But sometimes the situation... The situations, the sicknesses, and the illnesses that we might be going through may look at us and ask you, as a believer, may look at you and ask you, as, as a firm believer of what the Lord has said in your life, they will look at you and ask, who is it that sent you? Praise the name of the living Father. Sometimes the challenges, you know, in our jobs, the challenges with our workmates, the challenges with our bosses, they may seem to challenge our faith, they may seem to challenge what the Lord has said. Praise the name of the, the living Father. Because the word of the Lord says that promotion does not come from any man, but comes from the Lord. Praise the name of the living Father. But there are those bosses, there are those workmates who have conditioned a situation whom, which you have to go through them for you to get promoted. Praise the name of the living Father. Brothers and sisters, that is the situation that we are talking about when they look at you and they mock the word of the Lord in your life and ask you, who is it that sent you? Praise the name of the living Father. Now, what will be the response? How will you respond? Brothers and sisters, that is the question that we are asking ourselves this morning. When the world ask us, who is it that sent you? How do we respond? What is the response that you give to the world? Praise the name of the living Father. And you know, uh, when the foundations are being shaken, you know, the most, you know, David came to a situation and the things that he was going through, they were not looking good. Praise the name of the living Father. He came to a point and asked himself, when the foundations are being shaken, in the book of Psalms chapter 11, verse 3, when the foundations are shaken, what can the righteous do? Praise the name of the living Father. When the situations do not look good, when the things and the things that we believe in when the word of the Lord, the, the, when the word of the Lord that we, we believe in, in our lives is being challenged, and brothers and sisters, we are living in a world where everything and everyone is challenging the beliefs that we believe in. Praise the name of the living Father. Just go out there and hear 
the conversation the world is having nowadays. Praise the name of the living Father. When the foundations are being shaken, when the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? And when we get to the second reading, in the book of Acts chapter 19, from verse 11 to 15, you know, there are some people who are asked this question and they were not able to answer. Praise the name of the living Father. The Bible says that God did extraordinary miracles through Paul so that even handkerchiefs were taken to those who were ill and their illnesses were cured and the evil spirits left them. Let me jump to no, verse 13 says, Some Jews who went around driving out evil spirits tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus over those who were demon-possessed. They would say, In the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches, I command you out seven sons of Sceva, a Jewish chief priest, were doing this. Mm -hmm. One day the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know, and Paul I know about. Who are you? Praise the name of the living Father. No, these are the sons of Sceva. They were, ar they were going around, you know, chasing out demons. And the demons... And they asked, you know, we know Paul. You know, we know Paul. And we know Jesus. But who are you? Praise the name of the living Father. Who? Who are you? You know, some of the reasons that situations get the better of us, and some of the reasons that when this question is asked to us as believers, we are not able to answer, is one, because we do not have adequate knowledge of the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the living Father. As it, it is evidence in the book of Acts that the, those, these sons of Sceva, they, they did not have adequate knowledge of the Lord. And let me remind you, Kwamba, these were the sons of a Jewish priest. So by all means and standards, these were the people whom we would have said that they know the Lord. Praise the name of the living Father. But brothers and sisters, they did not know who is it that sent him, that sent them. Praise the name of the living Father. And the manner, you know, the demons saw that these people are really joking with us, you know. You know, it is very humiliating ya kwamba shetani and he sees that you are joking with him. Because what you are doing does not hold water. What you are doing, the things that you are believing in, that they do not have a basis. Praise the name of the living Father. Why? Because we do not have adequate knowledge of the name we are invoking. You know, we say that our Lord is our Savior. But sometimes in our lives as Christians, Sometimes in our lives and in our works as Christians, we do not uh, reflect the knowledge of the Lord in our lives. Praise the name of the living Father. That is why we have no answer when the question, who sent you, sometimes is asked to us by the world. Praise the name of the living Father. Brothers and sisters, the book of Daniel chapter 11 says, that those who know their Lord shall be strong. Those who know their Lord shall do exploits. Praise the name of the living Father. That is why I am here to encourage you that if we are to answer adequately this question, who is it that sent us in our lives? Who is it that sent us in our jobs? Who is it that sent us in, our, in, the, in, in, the, in the settings that we are living in, in our businesses? Because brothers and sisters, even in the situations the businesses that we are, we, are, we, we are holding or we are doing, the day-to-day -day activities in our lives, this question is asked. 
And if we are about, we, if we are to answer this question adequately, then brothers and sisters, we must know who we are representing. We must know the name we are invoking. We must know or have adequate knowledge of the Lord in our lives. Praise the name of the living Father. The second reason that this question is asked to us as Christians and we are not able to answer is because we are in the wrong assignment. Praise the name of the living Father. You know, it is very clear in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 19 that God had sent Paul. Praise the name of the living Father. It is God that sent Paul. But as to who sent these sons of Sceva, we do, we do not know. Because it is like waliona Paul akifunza, waliona Paul Aki cast out demons and, and maybe they desired what Paul was doing. Hello? They desired what Paul was doing and they decided themselves to do it. Praise the name of the living Father. But that is not the case. They were, not in, they were in the wrong assignment. God had not sent them. Praise the name of the living Father. Paul was on our mission to preach and teach the word of God. But they were on a mission to cast out demons. Brothers and sisters this morning, a mission that is not backed by God will always bring defeat and disappointments. Praise the name of the living Father. A mission that is not backed by God will always bring defeat and will always bring disappointment in our lives. And in the book of Ruth, Chapter 1 and verse 20, a story we all know, a story about Naomi. And the Bible says that a time came when in Bethlehem, Judah, there was great famine. And this family, the family of Abimelech, they decided you know, that, you know what, it is about time we go to Moab and see whether we can save our lives. Praise the name of the living Father. And the Bible says that they left Bethlehem, Judah, and went to Moab. But brothers and sisters, the story becomes difficult because the Lord had not instructed this family to go to Bethlehem, Judah. And when Naomi is coming back, he says that, call, call me not Naomi. Call me Mara. Why? Because the Lord has dealt bitterly with me. Praise the name of the living Father. And let me remind you and educate you this morning that the word Naomi meant pleasant. The, the word Naomi or the name Naomi meant something that is good. But now we see Naomi regarding or addressing herself as bitter. Why? Because she and her family had embarked on a journey that was not ordained by God. Praise the name of the living Father. And that is why when they got there, they could not find fulfillment. When they got there, they could only find tears and sorrows. Why? Because they, the mission that they had embarked on was not backed by God. Praise the name of the living Father. Therefore, this morning, I do not know what you are doing. I do not know the mission. I do not know the project that you are carrying out in your life. But I am here to tell you, and I am here to encourage you that before we do anything, let us first of all seek the will of the Lord. Praise the name of the living Father. That is the only way that we can insulate ourselves. That is the only way that when this question is asked to us each and every day in the situations that we are in, that we can only answer in the right way. Praise the name of the living Father. Now, brothers and sisters, as I finish, how then should we respond? What should be our answer when we are asked, who sent you? 
in verse 3, Moses and Aaron confront Pharaoh in faith and in full of confidence that the Lord would do that which he said he would do. Praise the name of the living Father. Therefore, the first response or the ways we should respond when this, when this question is asked in our lives, who is it that sent you? We should respond full of faith. Praise the name of the living Father. Tell your neighbor you should respond full of faith. Full of faith that the Lord is the one who told you. The Lord is the one who has sent you. Praise the name of the living Father. The second response is that we should respond without fear. Praise the name of the living God. The book of 1 John chapter 4 and verse 4, the Bible says that greater is he who is in us than he who lives in the world. Praise the name of the living Father. Brothers and sisters, that should be the response. That should be the, res the response of a Christian. That should be the response of a Christian full of confidence without fear that the Lord is the one who sent me. Praise the name of the living Father. I, I, I was thinking about this, these two guys, Moses and Pharaoh. I mean, uh, Moses and Aaron. And, 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 and I should have loved to see them when they went to the, in the presence of Pharaoh and they told Pharaoh, you know what? It is the Lord who has sent us. Praise the name of the living Father. You should face the world and tell the world, it is the Lord who has sent me. Praise the name of the living Father. That should be the response of a Christian. That should be the response of a born-again Christian. That should be the response of a Christian full of faith that it is the Lord who has sent us. Praise the name of the living Father. You know, the Bible says that, that, that the increase of the world, the increase of the land belongs to us all. Praise the name of the living Father. And therefore, we should face the economic situation with that word that you know what? It is the Lord who has sent us. Praise the name of the living Father. We should not be cowed by situations in our lives. We should not be cowed by the things we are going through in the world. Praise the name of the living Father. You know the word of the Lord also says that the kingdom of the Lord belongs to us and our families. And therefore as a parent, you should look at your children and tell them it is the Lord who sent me. Hello. Praise the name of the living Father. I pray that the Lord will fire up our hearts. I pray that the Lord will fire up the faith in our hearts that when we face the world, we face the world full of confidence. Praise the name of the living Father. The third thing that we should answer the question who sent us, leaning wholly on being enabled by the Lord. Praise the name of the living Father. You know the book of John chapter 15 and verse 5. The Bible says that without me you can do nothing. Brothers and sisters, God is our enabler. God in our, is our sustainer. And we can do nothing without him. Praise the name of the living Father. And therefore be encouraged. Be encouraged, brothers and sisters. Be encouraged, students who are here with us. And you know, I, 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 was, I was reflecting on, 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 on uh, my life. You know, there was a time I was really praying that God may give me a job. And you know, the, 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 greatest, the greatest thing that you can do to a student, praise the name of the living Father. You know, we, we don't ask for much in this life. Our only hope is that when when, when we finish school, we may find something to do. Praise the name of the living Father. But that is not always the situation. That is not always the case. You know, the, the, the joblessness, you know, the situations, the hopelessness, the prayer, the earnest prayer that the Lord will do it for us. They look at us and ask us, who sent us? But I'm here to tell you, the Bible says, the Lord is the one who sent us. The call to worship, the Bible says that the Lord told Moses, 
When the people ask you who is it that sent you, tell them it is I am who sent you. Praise the name of the living Father. It is the God of Jacob who sent you. It is the God of Isaac, the God of Abraham who sent you. Praise the name of the living Father. Therefore, that is the response of a Christian who is born again. That is the response of a Christian who is full of faith. That is the response of a Christian who is holy and leaning on the presence and being enabled by the Lord. Praise the name of the living Father. Let us pray. Father, your word has come forth. How I pray that it may grow in our hearts, that King of glory, it may bear fruits, O King of glory. Give us faith to believe in what which you have told us this morning. In Jesus' name we pray, trusting and believing.